Hi and welcome to 2017 Paper 2 Leaving Cert Ordinary Level Maths and this is question 4. So I'm just going to go back straight to the, the blank page. Um, we're looking here at construction. Okay, so construct the triangle ABC where the length of AB equals 8 centimeters, the length of AC equals 5, the length of BC equals 7. Okay, so this is a standard construction. There's certain constructions uh, in one of the previous set notes. I have links to, um, I think it was Tortoise CBS, and they have, uh, have a, a digital version of the different constructions being done for you. Um, but with this one here, okay, so I suppose I'll go to the next page here. We follow this through, okay, you're drawing a line here. So you're drawing the line AB down here, okay, and that's 8 centimeters. That's your starting point. We now need to find uh, where the line AC and the line BC meet. That's simply done by drawing an arc of seven centimeters, and from the put your cursor point or your protractor point here, uh, sorry, compass, sorry, not protractor, your compass point here, um, measuring seven centimeters on your ruler and drawing an arc. Then from point A, uh, measure five centimeters and draw an arc, and what they meet is the, the top vertex, the vertex, vertex C. And that's it. Okay, it's, it's pretty, if you know your constructions, it's pretty straightforward. If you try to just grab the attempts, so I think here's a 10C question, so uh, 0, 4, 6, 10. Um, you know, if you draw, I suppose, any arc here, you're going to get some marks. Um, draw the base, centimeter base here. Should hopefully get some marks, okay, at least the low partial. Uh, make sure now to not rub out your construction lines, uh, they have to be visible. Um, could try. BS it, for lack of a better word, by uh, measuring um, you know, two rulers. But again, why would you do that if you if you know you know that that's the concept? Draw the arc, finishes that off. Let's so move on. So part B here, the diagram shows a square of side length two k, and part one says write down in terms of k an expression for the area of a square. So it's a square. So they say the length of one side is going to be equal, so it'll be two k all around. The area of a square rectangle is length by breadth, or in this case, length by length. So I'll go to the answer here. That's your area formula. Now, it's not given to you in the um, math tables. So your area here is length by breadth. The length is 2k. The breadth is 2k. Now, technically, here, I'm multiplying 2 by 2 is, is 4. k by k is k squared. Okay. And your answer to the area is, four, is equal to 4 times k squared. Move on. Now, part two here says an isosceles triangle with side lengths of 20 centimeters and hypotenuse of length 2k. So the sides here are 20 and 20. And hypotenuse 2k, so that's the right angle triangle there. Um, because it's, it's, it's um, not equilateral, it's isosceles. These two angles are going to be equal. So no harm recording that on the diagram just to show you you have that knowledge. It should get you low partial um, for even identifying something relevant. The question then says, find the value of k, correct the two dozen places, and the area of the remaining shaded section. So we need people to find, first of all, what k is, and then the find the shaded section. Now, if it's a triangle triangle, and they mention hypotenuse, that should give some clue, and we're going to have to use Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, so if we just do the next thing, there's this Pythagoras' theorem written out here. And the hypotenuse is 2k, that's to be squared, equals 20 squared plus 20 squared. Now, this should be pretty straightforward. Uh, if I'm squaring this, now, the root, one of the rules of power says, if I'm squaring uh, this term here, I square the number and the, 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 the letter. So it's 2 squared uh, times k squared. Now, 2 squared is 4. Okay, k times k is, is k squared. Then 20 squared plus 20 squared is 400 plus 400, gives you the 800. And now I'm going to solve this by algebra. So I move the 4 first. On the left hand side, it's being multiplied, so when it comes across to the right, it becomes divided. Now, note, note the sign doesn't change, it's a common mistake. People think, oh, if something's going across the equal, the sign must change. But it's only relevant in the situation where the, the number or variable was being added or subtracted on the previous side. So, I've, I've got k squared equals 800 times divided by 4, so that equals 200. I bring the square across, becomes the opposite, becomes square rooted. So, k is equal to the square root of 200. I put that through the calculator and I get a decimal and to two places that's 14.14 centimeters. That's the figure I'm probably going to have to use in part two, well, the next section. 
So the area of the shaded area is equal to the area of the square, take away the area of the triangle, so the triangle here. So if I know the area of that triangle, just take it away from the area we found in part one, and Bob's your uncle. So, so I've shown that there. Okay, now if it's gotten, it gets kind of complicated here, just in the sense I've, I've, I've done it out with the two formulas. So the area of shaded equals the area of the square minus the area of the triangle. The area of the square is length times breadth. Okay, we've done that in part one. And the area of a triangle is triangle, triangle, so it's a half base by height. I'm taking that away, so it's a half, I take away all of that. So I put it in brackets just to keep that together. We know that the length of the breadth was 800. We know that the area of triangle is a half times 20 times 20, because the base is 20, the height is 20. That's your base there, that's your height here. Okay, now put that to the calculator if I want. I end up at 600, and it's cm squared because uh, it's, it's an area. Okay, job done. And that's the end of question four, so thank you, and see you on question five.